Alright, greetings and welcome back, gentles and ladies, men, to the bonus episode of Donkey Kong Country 2 on the Game Boy Advance. We have already pretty much beaten the game and finished off everything, so there's only a few things left to talk about. First of all is Diddy's Dash, which is a returning feature from Donkey Kong Country on the game, uh, the first remake of the first game. Obviously, what this is, is it's, it's basically another time attack mode, just like the first game. Uh, but with one crucial, well, actually a few differences, but the most crucial of these differences uh, will be obvious in a moment, and we're going to be playing this level because why the hell not. And hopefully... See, I don't really play the time attack modes in any Donkey Kong Country game. Uh, not even the Returns games, really, uh, where, where the time attack is like, you know, a bit more fleshed out, like you can actually get medals based on what time you get, and the you know the game will tell you. It's kind of like the the relics from Crash Bandicoot in a way, or like depending on what you do, you get a certain medal, and obviously your goal is okay. Uh, so yeah, so I'm I'm kind of learning about how this this mode even works as I go along, honestly. Uh, sorry for the imp unprofessionalism here, but. You know, that's just how it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's just how it is. Um, let's see. So, as as far as I could tell, few differences from the from the game or the version of this mode from Donkey Kong Country One. Uh, the first difference, obviously, is that there are permanent checkpoints littered throughout the stage. So, if you die, you pop up back there, but your timer keeps going. Obviously, your goal is to get the best possible time that you can. And so that means, you know, obviously if you've played the levels already, then you know a few tricks up your sleeve. Uh, another difference is that, as far as I can tell, there are no rankings. Uh, so in the first game, it was basically, the remake of the first game rather, it was basically like Dunk, or, uh, like Sonic the Hedgehog, depending on how fast you, am I going backwards? I am going backwards. Well, that's just great. See, these, these special new checkpoints were retroactively placed into existing level design, uh, which is why it's kind of harder to tell what you're doing, but I digress. Actually, that's not a digression, and apparently, I, I've been saying that way too often, I've discovered from listening back to my commentary again, so I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, there's, a, I don't know, I guess it's just become a force of habit. I, I don't mean to rip off Clement, I really don't, it's just... After a while, you get used to saying it, and then it's hard to make yourself stop saying it. But, you know, I almost said it again. I almost said it again, but I stopped myself this time. All right, let's see if we can beat the stage already. I didn't want to do a level from the first world because fuck that. I, I'm no... I know, I'm capable of... I'm... I can beat these levels no problem. I say... Right as I get killed by the lockjaw. Okay, so we got that. And there's the end of the stage. No bonuses from that. Uh, you might have noticed that in the original version of the game, or, I'm sorry, the remake of the first game, there were these little time stopper things you could get that would reduce the amount of time. Like, you could find, like, a 20 pickup, and then the pickup would, you know, reduce the your clock by that amount of time. Uh, and, I don't know, I think there was a thing where, depending on how many enemies you killed in a row, you could do stuff like that as well, but... You know, as far as I can tell, there are there are no rankings in this mode. Uh, those those pieces are gone. Uh, you can only play as Diddy, I guess, just to make it harder because you can't do the helicopter spin. And yeah, now I do believe that there are rewards in this mode, depending on like I think if you play all the all the levels and get a uh, best time in all of them, uh, then Cranky will every once in a while he'll give you a cheat code. And the cheat codes do a few interesting things, so actually, let's go show that off real quick. Yeah, well, the, the, how do you like that segue? Uh, I might as well show this off. There's, this isn't really all that interesting, it's just a quick way to replay minigames if you want. Like, if you want to replay a certain mission from Funky's Flights, you can you can do that, and you can get try to get the best time, and I don't know, I think you could probably... I think the, that sprite looks awfully familiar. I think that might just be a generic render of Funky that they just chopped out all the white space and stuck in the background. Like, yeah, you can do that if you want. I wonder what Bag of Bug does. Was there originally gonna be like multiple... No, you just play. 
and try to see if you can get the high score, I guess. So that's there if you want it. Uh, I don't want it, so we're gonna be skipping that. Uh, so, okay, so let's see. Let's go show off the cheat codes in this game, which are a little different from before. Uh, in the first game, and in previous games, they were always, like, button combinations that you'd hold. And then after you held them, you'd go to wherever you want. Now there are actual codes you can enter. So let's start with one of my favorites. Uh, and I'm not going to be showing off all the codes. And I believe the codes are the rewards you get uh, for beating a certain number of stages in, in Diddy's Dash. But I personally have not actually done that, so I can't verify that 100%. I'm sure someone in the comments knows. But one time you enter that, and you get a music player, a sound test. And it contains all the tracks in the game, and including a couple of, at least one unused one. And I'll go show that off real quick. Mm. Yeah, there it is. I showed this off in the part earlier where we played, um... Uh, what, what, was, what was that level called? It was... Uh, it was called Rambi something. Uh, Rambi's Run? I don't know. There's It's the level right before you fight King Zing in Crazy Kremlin. Uh, you go through the little thing, you you change into Rambi, and then you find King Zing. And in the original version of the game, this track plays. Uh, and as you can see, this, this song is in the game. Uh, but when you actually play the level in this game, uh, it plays Screech's theme instead, which is somewhere around here. Yeah, it plays Bad Bird Reg instead. And my personal headcanon for the whole thing, if that's how you use that term, is that this track, this particular version of the track is not finished, because it sounds a bit rough. Like it's missing a couple of uh, tracks or, you know, layers to the song. So my, my personal hypothesis is that uh, this track is finished, but the other one isn't, and they were running out of time, development time, so they- Or maybe they just didn't like how this version of the track sounded. I don't know, but they- I guess for whatever reason they decided to use Bird, Bad Bird Rag instead, which, I don't know, personally I, I think it's the better track anyway, and I don't really mind. Uh, but yeah. And, you know, otherwise, I've already talked about the music in this game to death in the, in the previous part, so I don't think I need to- chat too much about that, but there's still one other thing I do want to show off, and I don't know, at this point, I've already... I don't know, I really need that one anymore, since I've got this one with a better time on it by about 14 seconds. Uh, I keep getting better at this game. Uh, and... We'll erase that. Keep practice run just in case. Alright. So, you might remember in the GBA version of Donkey Kong Country 1 on the Game Boy Advance that there was a special hero mode you could play. Uh, and unfortunately, hero mode, there is no equivalent of hero mode in this game. Uh, there, at least in, you know, hero mode was unique in that you played a pout swap of Diddy and uh, the, you know, there was actually a new story for it, like Diddy was cleaning up his mess for failing to protect the bananas. Uh, in this version of the game, there is no such thing. You do not unlock hero mode for getting a certain percentage clear on your game. But, lucky for us, there is an equivalent. There is something that might be just be good enough for you. And the code is rock hard. You enter rock hard, and then you just start a new game. And I uh, will call this... I don't know, I'll just call it EXO. I'm not feeling creative right now. Those creative sparks are not flowing, and we'll just skip this, and... Rock Hard is a special mode in the game that I believe that there was a, an equivalent of this of this mode in Donkey Kong Country 2 on the SNES, but... I don't know, I can't, I can't fucking remember. I put an annotation in one of the previous parts that explains it. Actually, I don't think the code worked. Let me, let me double check. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, so I get to go figure out what's going on with that, and I'll see you guys in a second here. Alright, let's try this again. And let's see, and I know, I already have Diddy, so, or Dixie, so I'll just kill her off real quick so that I can show off what this mode does. Uh, basically, this is the hero mode equivalent for this game, and... Like I said, I know for a fact that there's a similar version of this in Donkey Kong Country 3 on the on the SNES, uh, and there there's an equivalent code in the GBA version as well. 
Uh, but I'm pretty sure I I'm not I know for a fact that DKC1 doesn't have an equivalent of this on SNES, and I can't remember about the SNES version of this game. Uh, but what this version is is it's it's just like um, Hero Mode. Well, there are a couple of differences. The big difference, obviously, is that you can still play as both characters. Uh, where he is in the in Hero Mode, you could only play as Diddy. And there is no way to play as Donkey Kong at all. But in this this version of the game, you can't play as Dixie. And I believe it how it works is like whenever you die as one character, you swap over to the other one. Uh, but I might be wrong about that. But what this version what what Raw Card does is it gets rid of all the Oh, you just start the level with Dixie. Okay, I see how that works. Uh, so you you get two hits to play through the entire stage. Uh, and, you know, there are no DK barrels and there are no midpoint barrels either. So that basically means you have two hits to play through the entire stage. And, yeah, which is, I guess, is a little easier than Hero Mode was because you still get the second hit. Whereas in Hero Mode, you didn't get anything like that at all. Um, so yeah, uh, personally, I've never bothered, I don't know, maybe once I've played through this, I can't remember. I know for a fact I've, I've tried out these codes before, I can't say, I uh, can't remember for certain whether I've actually beaten them. Because personally, I don't really feel like the game needs to be any harder, I felt like it was, at the, that the challenge was pretty fine as it was. Uh, some people have been telling me that they find this game really hard, which, you know, uh, uh, difficulty is subjective, it's true. Uh, but, you know, all I'm saying is that this, this, this mode is available for people who are interested in it. Uh, so, yeah, so if you think the game's too easy or you just want to look for an extra challenge, uh, Rock Ard is in the game and you can, you can enjoy it at your leisure. And, yeah, there are a few other codes to speak of. Uh, there are some codes that basically make it so that when you boot up a file, actually, I might end up using these after all. Uh, let's let's quit back to the main menu because uh, that gives me an idea. There are codes that give you a bunch of banana coins, and there there are a few of the different ones you can pick. Uh, let's see, and I'm gonna go for the one that gives you 50 coins because I I guess I am gonna fulfill my promise after all. All right, which which one do I want? Well, rich is the code, and again you get these codes from Cranky uh, by beating the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the conditions are, but it has something to do with Diddy's Dash. Okay. Well, Rich, we'll boot up our file here, and hopefully I don't have to start a new game with that. Yep, 53. So now we get to go back and buy whatever it is that we missed so that I can ha truly have a maxed out file in this game. You think your fancy graphics and sound will work again? I think not. You'll be lucky to sell 10 copies this time. Go ahead, test my amazing knowledge. The end is not the end. Yeah, great hint. Okay, so... I believe all we have left are some hints from Wrinkly in the first world. Let's bust out the gyrocopter real quick. Which is really convenient to have on the menu, by the way, but I digress. Uh, but actually, no, that's not a digression. Okay, so, last wrinkly is over here. Um, oh yeah, I've got to buy the scrapbook ones too. Barf. Those nutty crocodiles, all they want to do is learn how to fight and squash monkeys. Press the A button to swim. Pressing up and down on the control pad while swimming will affect the speed that you sink or swim. Jump on the target to finish the level. If you jump from a sufficient height, you will win the displayed prize. Press and hold the R button to power him up and then release it for his supercharge. Use this to defeat enemies and break open hidden doors. When you have both characters, press the R button to team up, press it again to split up. Throw your partner to defeat enemies and discover secrets. Throw Crow's eggs back at him. He won't like it. Come back if you've got any problems now. So let's go, I might as well show off what the um, scrapbook hints are like, because they're actually pretty good, uh, I've got to say. I believe we start getting them around Krem Key, so we'll go visit Wrinkly at Krem Key, and I'm probably going to have to input that code more, a couple more times in order to buy all these, because Jesus Christ. 
Uh, no, I guess we start getting them in Crazy Kremlin. Come on, game. Alright, go up over to Crazy Kremlin real quick. I bet this is the most boring thing to watch. I apologize. Uh, let's see. I just noticed that they're in the hive. Photo 1. Bash the clump and squawk sh squawks shaps. Start of web woods, hot clobber hop, hop up, high up top sail trouble. So as you can see, like, each photo on the page corresponds to one of these. And I can, it'll probably be easier to show it off in a different way, but... So I'm gonna quit the game real quick and re-input the code and I'll be right back. Alright, and much like the tumor on the back of your neck, we're back! So, let's go grab this one. Okay. And there are a few more of these, I think, in the next couple of worlds, so we'll go on over to Gloomy Gulch real quick and grab what's there. And I think Wrinkly's all the way over here. Alright. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna have to keep entering that code a billion times, aren't I? Well, better get started. Alright, I'm gonna have to go do it again, so I'll be right back. Alright, got one more over here. And I'm probably gonna end up having to input the damn code again, but who cares. Alright, now all we've got left are the ones from K. Rule's Keep. I think there might be one in the, in the flying croc that we missed. But... Maybe more than that, actually. Wrinkly's up here somewhere. Oh, God. Who was gonna save up this much money? But I guess only, only a creepy weirdo like me would care enough to actually buy all of them, so... I guess I reap what I sow. All right, we're back. Let's buy that last one, and then, then... We'll check up on the Flying Croc one, and we'll go from there. And I can show up, finally show off how that looks. And show you how you're supposed to use those hints. And then I'll have a completed save file that I can show off any time I like. Uh. Make sure you have plenty of lives! Isn't that the best hint you've ever heard that was totally worth five coins, right? Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Show off how this works. As you can see, each of the hints that we have purchased from Wrinkly Kong are permanently available from the pause menu for you to reference anytime you'd like. And that includes the scrapbook hints. So as you can see, we're looking at page one of the scrapbook, and this will tell you where each of the photos on that page is. So for example, photo number one, Bash the Clomp and Squawks is Shaft. And then if we go back over into the scrapbook on page one, sure enough, the, f the first photo on the page is from Clomp. So if you're missing one, all you have to do is go to the page number of the one you're missing. Like for example, say you're missing the, the Squitter photo on the bottom left there. I, you know, page 15, you go to Wrinkly's Help, page 15, and in order to get the squat, the squitter photo in this game, you shoot the zinger at the top of the tower. So, yeah, that's how that works, and you know, might as well show off Cranky's side of things. So, you know, obviously, if you buy your hands and you're having trouble finding bonus rooms... Okay, I guess I'm not done buying things. That's, that's embarrassing, is what that is. Don't, yeah, don't bother, don't bother buying everything, folks. I'm sure you can find the same hints on the internet, and probably much more detailed hints beyond what Cranky can tell you on the internet as well, so... I'm just doing this because I'm a fucking nerd, and so, for some reason, the idea of having a completed... totally completed save file on this cartridge... you know, is... appealing to me. 
Below the letter K, you'll find a reward if you avoid the danger. Jump for joy when crossing the longest horizontal rope. I reckon the door at the bottom of the tall wall looks flimsy to me. Those big blue goons ain't guarding that huge stack of barrels for nothing. Knock them off and get up there. Alright, now we have bought everything. Or so I would hope. Yeah, but as you can see, all of your hints show up here, so if you're having trouble finding something in a stage, all you have to, like, say you can't find a bonus barrel in, I don't know, Slime Climb. Uh, but nearing on the top, the ability to walk on water reveals all, and in part of that stage, there are invincibility barrels you can use to go into the water with the snap jaw and enter a bonus room, so that's kind of how that works. I know for a fact that not all of the hints you get from Cranky are helpful like that, uh, but still, it's it's something. I appreciate that there is something like that in this game to help people out if they need it. So, yeah, because, um, you know, the, obviously with the first one, if there was an obscure barrel in the game, or a bonus room rather, then the only way to find out was to keep visiting Cranky over and over again and hope that they tell you something useful, so... Yeah, so uh, yeah, I think I think that's it. I think that's all there is to it and that went on way too long And I might trim out some of that, but yeah, you got the idea. That's everything. That's that's Donkey Kong Country 2 uh, so What's up next on EPG plays? Well, I've been thinking about what we might do for the next playthrough and you know I've been thinking about things that aren't Donkey Kong, but the more I've been thinking about it the more I realize that uh, I don't, eat, while I might not feel like playing the third game right now because I am getting a little bit Donkey Konged out, uh, I'm definitely not going to feel like it later down the line. So, I mean, might as well just do all three games back to back. And yeah, so I've been practicing up for that. I don't know when the first part's going to land because I'm not finished with my practice playthrough. And I want to avoid a repeat of the playthrough of the first game where I constantly didn't know things. Yeah, like it was any different this time around. Uh, where I constantly didn't know things and had to guess, only for me to be proven long, wrong later. So I'm gonna finish playthrough first, and then after that we'll get to I'll get to recording and putting some parts up. And you know I've gotta make sure I'm feeding the fans on my review channel as well. So yeah, I'm not sure when this stuff is gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to get it done relatively quickly. So. Until the next episode, this has been the Donkey Kong Country 2 playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it, and take care. Bye!